The Jacksonville Jaguars are coming into a very, very important offseason. When you look at things, the Jaguars have a brand new head coach with Doug Peterson. He's bringing in different coordinators. You have to build an offense. Also, we have Trevor Lawrence going into his second year as an NFL quarterback. And we really hope that he makes that next jump that generally you see out of rookie franchise quarterbacks from year one to year two. And also the Jaguars need to improve the roster a big amount. I mean, the Jaguars were 3-14 and 14 last year. The Jaguars did not have a very good record. And the things that the Jaguars, really the fan base at least, is focusing the most on and that's kind of sparking the most debate is the wide receiver position and also the offensive line. And I think the wide receiver position, it's not really as greatly debated because we just have to add a bunch more guys. You know I mean? We just need to add receivers, whether it be through free agency, the draft, you know, I think we are all pretty much universal when it comes to Jaguars need more receivers, but I think the offensive line raises debates to kind of another level. I I think Jaguars fans feel pretty proudly about their standpoint on what the Jaguars need to do on their offensive line. And Really, what we do with left tackle Cam Robinson, I feel like is really going to drive what we do this offseason. Now, Cam Robinson is heading into free agency, similar to last year. Uh, Cam Robinson was a free agent last year, but the Jaguars decided to place a franchise tag on him, which gave the Jaguars the right to keep him another year. And the Jaguars might do the same thing this year. Now, Cam Robinson... Um, He is going into what's going to be his sixth NFL season. His first five seasons has been with the Jaguars after the Jaguars drafted him in the second round of the 2017 NFL draft. And one thing about Cam Robinson is he has availability. I mean, the guy generally plays most of the games. I mean, last year he played 14 out of 17 games, so he was definitely available. And when you look at it, he was the best offensive lineman on the Jaguars, in my opinion, by a pretty large margin. I mean, I think he was pretty underrated for how good he was last season. Now, last season in 539 snaps, he only allowed one sack. And he also only had four penalties. Like I said, I think it's Cam Robinson really is a little bit underrated when it comes to really the Jaguars on the offensive line. I think a lot of times offensive linemen kind of get grouped into one category and we don't really want to move off of that. And... The biggest debate is what the Jaguars do at the number one overall pick because I know a lot of Jaguar fans are sitting here like, okay, we need to get Evan Neal. And I'm kind of on that train. I do think that, look, Evan Neal is a great offensive lineman and you need to draft the number one prospect. You need to draft the best player in the draft. And if that player is Evan Neal, you need to go out and get him because we are in no position when we had the number one overall pick to not take the best player. You know, I mean, we are pretty void of talent and, you know, we don't have the right to pick and choose. And if that guy is Evan Neal, then Jaguars need to go out there and get him. Now, the thing is, when you look at things, it feels like the, the, the tackle position seems like it's pretty easy to fix. You know, you either have camera because right now the Jaguars have you know Walker Little obviously you know it feels like he's going to be a pretty good tackle um you can easily slap a franchise tag on Cam Robinson because it's going to be 16.5 million dollars off the books it's just a one-year thing the Jaguars have the money to do that and you also have Evan Nielsen in there at number one he's also another tackle so that does give you some flexibility when it comes to that but What's the best thing for the Jaguars to do? It really feels like the Jaguars need to improve at the interior of the offensive line. However, it kind of stinks because you look at in free agency and there's really not a lot of room to improve both on the in the interior line spot and also the tackle spot. I mean, you can go out there inside to Ron Armstead, the Saints left tackle, but he has some like injury issues. And at that point, wouldn't you rather keep around Cam Robinson, a guy that has spent his whole entire career on the Jaguars. And, you know, the Jaguars have a long history of keeping bad players and letting the good players walk. And the good players go out there and do great things. You know I mean? We have to find a way to keep our good players. Um, But And you also look at the interior. I mean, there's Brandon Scherf, who 
you know, the Jaguars, it's easy to say, oh, we want Brandon Scherf. But if you look online, you know, you look at the Panthers website, Panthers, we need to get Brandon Scherf, the, the Chicago Bears, we need to get Brandon Scherf. And every team's going to be after him. And then you bring in Brandon Scherf and you had to do some movement along the along the offensive line because Brandon Scherf is a right guard. So that means you might have to need to kick Ben Barch off to left guard and you're kind of doing some jumbling up there. Um, and there's also like Ryan Jensen, who's a center, who, who actually is pretty good, and he's a uh, you know, mean, nasty player. Uh, but then what do you do with Brandon Linder? Do you keep Ryan Jensen? Do you move him to guard, or do you play him at center? Do you kick Brandon Linder out to left guard? That is up for the bait. Now, here's what I would do if I were the Jaguars, and I think this is probably the best scenario for the Jaguars, if I'm being honest. Um, what I would do is I would slap a franchise tag on Cam Robinson, and I would keep him at left tackle. Look, he's a five-year NFL pro. He had a good season last year. Jaguars don't need to mess around and be like, okay, you're going to move to another position. That's not right. He's been playing the position for too long. You don't teach old dogs new tricks. That's got to be the that's got to be the approach to it. And he is, he has earned the right to be able to play left tackle, and especially if he if is he if he's not in the Jaguars' long term plans, you know, let him go out there and dominate at left tackle, and then you know let him go out there and sign a pretty big deal to play left tackle. Now I would like I said, slap a franchise tag on Cam Robinson, keep him at left tackle. Obviously, that puts Walker Little over there at right tackle, and then I still probably draft Evan Neal. I still do draft Evan Neal, and I put Evan Neal at left guard. And then going into next year, I have Cam Robinson at left tackle, Evan Neal at left guard, Brennan Linder slash Tyler Shadley at center. So, of course, you got to get the Brennan Linder handcuff. I keep Ben Barch at right guard as a cheap guard with some upside, and I put Walker Little at right tackle. And Walker Little, I mean, they were training him. He was playing a lot at right tackle this last season you know, really in practice and stuff like that. Unfortunately, we were only able to see him early on, but I'll tell you one thing, Walker Little improved a lot from early on in the season at left tackle and then to later in the season at left tackle. But unfortunately, we were not able to see how he played at right tackle. So there's no telling really how good he played there. But if he was as good, if he's as good at right tackle as he is left tackle, then he's definitely my right tackle for next year. And um, when it comes to Evan Neal, Evan Neal has a lot of versatility. He played 13 games at left guard as a freshman, then 13 games at right tackle as a sophomore, then 15 games at left tackle as a junior. So he's played all those different positions, and he played he's played all these different positions, really the th three biggest question mark at these different positions. So I think that really does greatly improve the offensive line and then it doesn't force you to go out there and throw a bunch of stupid money at anybody in free agency. You know what I mean? And then after that, you can reevaluate next year. Like, what if Evan Neal is a dominant left guard? What if Cam Robinson, once again, in another year, and 539 snaps, only allows one sack, four penalties, and is our best offensive lineman? You know what I mean? Because right now, the Jaguars have to fix the offensive line, and Jaguar fans are willing to let Cam Robinson walk like he's nothing. No, we're, we're, we're willing to let him walk like he's Andrew Norwell. He's not Andrew Norwell. He's a lot better. And he's also a homegrown Jacksonville guy who, you know, the Jaguars need to start showing that, look, if you play well in Jacksonville, we'll keep you around. So that's, you know, one thing with Evan Neal. And then you, but, but also I'm speaking from a standpoint of, I really don't know how Walker Little looks at right tackle. You know what I mean? What if he's garbage at right tackle? Then you say, okay, we kind of had to put him at left tackle because he was good at left tackle last year. I don't know. Um, and maybe, I mean, I don't know. Maybe the Jaguars, I don't know what the possibility of maybe putting a franchise tag on Cam Robinson and trading him. I don't know what we're, we would get for that. I imagine you might get something. But, you know, I'm not going to get cute when it comes to giving away good offense linemen when we have so many things to address. We have, obviously... Our number one asset in the Jaguars organization is Trevor Lawrence. So it's all about keeping him upright and making sure he takes his plate to the next level. And a part of that is going to be through protection. We have to protect him so he can sit in the pocket, go through his reads and make throws to and hopefully, hopefully improved wide receiver position. And then you kind of move forward from there. So yeah, this off season, it's not a great off season when it comes to the free agents available in 
Um, and f- f- for for offensive linemen, offensive lineman free agent is just not very good. Um, I, and the Jaguars need to massively improve the offensive line. So yeah, that's that's what I would do. That's what I would do. So we'll see what the Jaguars do end up doing. And hey, maybe the Jaguars do end up giving Cam a four year deal. Cam Robinson a four year deal. Then you, I don't think it locks in Evan Neal to not be number one overall, but. Um, it would be a shame if the Jaguars let Cam Robinson walk and what you get out of Evan Neal is the same exact thing as Cam Robinson. You know what I mean? So uh, that would kind of stink. So let me know what you guys would do. Am I crazy for wanting to keep Cam Robinson? Am I crazy for wanting to keep around the best offensive lineman for the Jaguars in 2021? Or should we move on and um, see a different path? So yeah, you guys know what I would do. Let me know what you guys would do. This is UCF Jaguar. Go Jags, and I'm out.